The commander of the grouping of Russian troops, center in the war in Ukraine, Colonel General Alexander Lepin, was removed from his post. This was confirmed by the TV channel Grozny. Also, this information was confirmed by a RBC agency source familiar with the personal decision. The Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation has not yet commented on the information about the removal of this general from his post. The head of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Kadyrov, previously accused Lepin of being absent from combat positions. Kadyrov announced that he informed the chief of the general staff, Valery Gerasimov, about the threat of Russian troops becoming an open target in Liman City. Two weeks ago, the major general of the Ahmad Special Forces, my dear brother Apti Alaudinov, told me personally that our fighters can become an easy target. I, in turn, informed Valery Gerasimov, chief of the general staff of the armed forces of the Russian Federation, about the threat. But the general assured me that he did not doubt Lapin's talent as a military commander and did not consider it possible to retreat in and around Krasny Liman. A week later, Lapin moves his headquarters to Starobelsk, which is 100 kilometers away from his subordinates, and he himself sits in Lugansk. How can you efficiently manage units that are 150 kilometers away? Due to the lack of basic military logistics, we have abandoned several settlements and a large part of the territory. It's not a shame that Lapin is incompetent. It is a shame that it was covered up by the higher ups at headquarters. If I had it in my power, I would demote Lapin to the rank of private, deprive him of his awards, and hand him a gun and send him to the front to wash away his shame in blood. Army nepotism will not lead to good. It is necessary to appoint people with a strong character, brave, principled, who care about the warrior, who know that the subordinate cannot be left without help and support. Nepotism has no place.